a few days ago I published a circuit of a sine wave generator. Uh, I named it an easy to make two transistor sine wave generator and it is really easy to make. Uh, I made it, I want to demonstrate the complete circuit with all its properties etc etc. Uh, but at first it is perhaps interesting to show that I have now connected a very simple um, transistor amplifier to the end, to the output of the sine wave generator. And it is in this video that very easy to make and I named it in the past mini audio amplifier on 0.3 watt uh, that everyone can make but I've used it now uh, not on 12 volts but on approximately 24 volts as a typical say voltage amplifier that could in a certain way perfectly uh, amplify the signals out of the sine wave generator coming from approximately 4 Hz up to approximately 33 kilohertz. This is the schematic and I will, will publish surely a more sharp uh, picture. Anyway, let's go to the workbench where I wanted to show, want to show the complete uh, sine wave generator that I made. Uh, at the moment it is on 1.9 kilohertz. This is the waveform and I have to say that the whole circuit is in a certain way primitive, but uh, at the same time and not on the other hand usable. And here you see that um, here that say simple amplifier made with a few NPN and PMP transistors. There are more circuits about that on my YouTube channel. So here you see the end transistors uh, uh, NPN and PMP. And this is the output capacitor to the output of the sine wave generator. And the front of that sine wave generator is here. I've now connected here to crocodile clips. You can set the frequency and here are the frequency bands that you can use. Going from 4 Hz up to approximately 33 kilohertz. And say the only uh, things that I needed to develop this sine wave generator further was this amplifier. And I needed a good indication whether the oscillation oscillator was working or not. And that is also in this new schematic. It's in fact very simple. It's uh, one NPN transistor dr driven by the uh, sine wave signal. But on the other hand, it took me uh, quite a long time to figure it out. So, my workbench again. Let's pan over somewhat over the uh, sine wave generator. I've made quite a, a big, big piece of paper regarding this schematic. So uh, I have to fold it back, etc., etc. Uh, when you go to the earlier video, you will surely see that this complete schematic is exactly the same as that beautiful uh, uh, schematic. And in when I say beautiful, I mean it was more or less perfectly drawn with the help of a computer program. But this is a sketch. That sketch is, by the way, exactly the same. 
So here it is again. Important to tell um, the this end amplifier. Uh, what I was talking about is supplied with a voltage now of approximately 24 volts. And I have taken the very, very easy way. This is a 12 volt transformer. This is a voltage doubler. So when you have here, say 12 volts, it could be that it is 15 volts. And you finally find here, for instance, a 30 volt or whatever at the output of such a simple transformer. That simple transformer is here, this one. But anyway, um, the most easy way to say filter, hum, etc. out is with the help of uh, a, a, a simple filter made with resistors and electrolytic capacitors. So it did not have to be a stabilized voltage free of hum. Uh, uh, and say the issue of hum is of course less important when you, uh, for instance, need an amplifier that only needs say a tiny current, say uh, 24 volts at 1 or 2 or 3 milliampere. Uh, no uh, current is taken, that also means that the hum, <coughs> say, that you can get to more easier ways of uh, suppressing hum uh, coming out of the main supply. And that's done here. Voltage doubler, simple filter here. It gives out approximately 25 volts. And let's go to the schematic of the end amplifier that does the job in amplifying uh, the sine wave signal between 4 Hz and approximately uh, 33 kHz and that is this amplifier and there is I have published this circuit earlier and now I use it in this way pan over somewhat supplied now by 25 volts very easy to make uh, cheap and easy to find transistors, etc., etc., and the output here is now approximately 20 volts maximum. That's good. First transistor can be a BC556 or a BC557. They are both PMP transistors, and there is uh, perhaps more to tell about how I made the ground because. The connection to ground, that's what, I'm, that's what I mean. You can see here on the front panel a switch with which you can set the DC ground on or off. And I was busy with uh, the oscilloscope um, project. Um, it didn't want to say succeed so very easily, but anyway, uh, Sometimes it could be necessary to switch the DC ground off to prevent all kinds of, say, strange effects regarding earth, etc. So this is the way that I've done it here. All the power supplies go to this point and then you can connect here with a switch the ground to the zero or the mass or not. And when you disconnect the ground of the amplifier, not only the amplifier, but also the sine wave generator, when you disconnect it from the ground, it is still connected here for AC with that capacitor of uh, 0 0.47 microfarad at 400 volts. Use a very high quality capacitor for this uh, issue that can withstand high, a high voltage etc. So again the amplifier let's go now to the the sine wave generator 
it's in fact the other part of the schematic but I want to say uh, flap the whole paper out so that I can pan over somewhat here is that sine wave generator again here the uh, 25 volt power supply that I was talking about of course for a serious generator you need a stabilized voltage that's realized here was a 7812 and perhaps perhaps this looks a little bit sloppy but in fact it is the completely same circuit that I published in a very neat way in the earlier video pin connections of the transistors etc etc uh, what were the important uh, say developments and changes that I used here two extra capacitors in the order of uh, one nanofarad and 460 picofarad here in this part of the Wien bridge it's a Wien bridge oscillator and here exactly the same and say uh, it's perhaps not clear that you see here two potentiometers but they have to be say mounted connected to the whole unit in a very specific way so go to the earlier video that I published then you can see how you can wire these two potentiometers in uh, they must be uh, 25k or 22k and perhaps even 10k 10,000 ohms not so much more to tell and when you don't wire them in properly the whole circuit will not oscillate that's important to tell uh, also very important to tell is that I made that indicator that the oscillator works I've done that here with that PC547B it's driven via a separate capacitor on its base there are three diodes here in the emitter lead to make the circuit more uh, sensitive and not only more sensitive but uh, better working um, regarding the flashing up of the um, green LED so and out so we have here two capacitors one goes to the indicator the, the oscillation indicator and the other one goes to the uh, uh, transistor amplifier that's also important so that was more or less all hope it was a little bit clear uh, let's look again to the circuit how it was made here we have the whole circuit again uh, here is that filter capacitor that gives the audio amplifier a certain voltage filtered via these resistors here these are two resistors one is not visible but anyway uh, here is the end capacitor this bunch uh, from the audio amplifier to the front here these two electrodes here is the DC ground on off switch that's very important and there is an extra switch with which you can say compensate the lowest frequencies this is the frequency range uh, everything has to be set uh, by hand that's perhaps interesting or not interesting but anyway could be say say we see here for instance a kind of distortion and you can correct that distortion with the help of this potentiometer here set purity and sine wave etc etc so when I turn this the sine wave can be set to a very pure sine wave and it works in a quite big frequency band thanks for watching 
My camera will run out it's approximately 15 minutes now. So I don't talk any longer, only say uh, showing how the circuit was made. Thanks for watching. With a rotary switch here, etc. etc. And it works very nice. Important to tell, of course.